shapes. Shapes in design is as critical as lines in design, is as critical as font in design. And we will begin to discuss the language of shapes as they apply to design. The meaning of shapes, developing visual grammar. What do you feel when you see a circle, a square, a triangle? Are you affected the same when seeing an object with soft, gentle curves as you are when seeing another object with sharp, jagged edges? Jagged edges, soft curves, triangle, rectangle. Much of the same way that lines have meaning, shapes have meaning as well and are important in building visual grammar and visual thinking that we have as our dis at our disposal as designers. So going back to the basis of understanding who your intended audience is, what sort of shapes would appeal to that audience, what sort of emotion are you trying to extend to that audience, shapes become a critical part of your design. Shapes are a basic element of design. There are three basic types of shape. Geometric, geometric shapes, organic shapes, and abstract shapes. Shapes in web design can be used in many ways. They can add interest to a design. They can sustain interest. They can organize or separate elements. And they can direct the eye through the design. Geometric, geometric shapes are what most people think of when they think of shapes. Octagons, squares, triangles, circles, parallelograms, etc., etc., etc. Organic shapes. Organic shapes are shapes that are found in nature, but they are also shapes of man-made items. Most organic shapes and web pages are created with images. Some examples of organic shapes are leaves and butterflies. Anytime you place an image in your design, most of the time there is a shape associated, the outline of that. Understanding what that shape does to your page, to your overall design, is very important. It literally has to, you have to ask yourself, how does it work with other shapes either defined by lines or fonts on that particular piece of work. Shapes need to be studied. You need to develop your eye for shapes and the only way to do that or one of the best ways to do that is to research other people's work and then apply as many of those techniques to your work and see if they work for the message you are trying to get across.